Universe is accumulation of tiniest atoms. To the trillions of stars, largest galaxies, and beautiful nebulae. From the mysterious black holes to the very existence of space and time. It's beautiful. And astonishing. For centuries, humans have aspired to explain the mystery of our genesis. Cosmologists studied multiple theories to understand the origin of everything and piece together an explanation of how our universe evolved. The origin of the universe staged the foundation for everything around us. Origin of the Universe Through the length of the multiple theories for our inception, the most widely accepted explanation is the Big Bang. Even though the name might suggest a violent explosion that would throw out stars and galaxies, there was no such bang. And it wasn't big either. The theory stated that the universe was expanding in all directions. Thus deducing that at some part of the time, they must be really close. Compressed into a tiny point. A singularity. These first moments of the Big Bang, the universe was extremely hot and dense point, as small as the grain of sand. Here, the fundamental forces of energy are unified as superforce. The universe was cooling down. In a few fractions of a second, the universe cooled down enough for gravity to escape from the union of superforces. From this point, the expansion of our universe began. The universe is now a hot soup of energy filled with subatomic particles called gluons. Gluons created the pairs of quarks and antiquarks. They destroyed each other, releasing more radiation. After a frenzied brawl between them, the quarks annihilated all the antiquarks, filling the universe with only quarks, the building blocks of matter. A few millionths of a second later, quarks aggregated to produce protons and neutrons. Within minutes, these protons and neutrons combined into the first atomic nuclei. After several million years, these atoms begin coalescing into gas clouds. Gravity pulled them closer, forming denser regions. They became smaller and hotter. In this stellar furnace, helium and hydrogen atoms fused together, evolving into the first stars.
The universe was filled with immense brightness. This light was now free to travel across the width of the cosmos. With time it stretched into infrared. Getting fainter. But still pervading today as a relic of the early stage of the universe. The cosmic microwave background. These first stars were still unstable, and soon exploded into supernovas. releasing vast flux of gas clouds and heavier elements like gold and uranium. These supernovas house new stars in the pocket of gas clouds. of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter held together by gravity, started swirling through space. Gravity sent these objects swirling into one another, turning it into larger spinning packs, giving birth to galaxies. Some materials were swung toward a galaxy's outskirts, creating extensive spiral arms filled with colonies of more stars. Almost 8 billion years after the Big Bang, the universe looked somewhat recognizable, like we know it today. Out of such million galaxies, one was Milky Way, the spiral galaxy, home of our solar system. Galaxies, stars, gas and dust were moving away from each other in space. On the outer arm of this galaxy, our solar system began forming in a concentration of interstellar dust and gas, remnants from the violent deaths of stars.
or proto-sun in the center. Surrounded by the solar nebula, was a ball of hydrogen and helium. The pressure and temperature increased enough to jumpstart the nuclear fusion. Strong gravitational pull of the newborn sun kept all the dust and debris together. The formation of the sun didn't take up all the clouds it was born from. The leftover dust and ice particles occasionally collided and merged. And the formation of the planets and moons began. The tiny particles clubbed together into larger bodies that eventually became planetesimals. In the outer, cooler portion, water ice was the dominant component. With the cold outer solar nebula, where our sun's gravity was weaker, much larger planetary embryos formed, leading to the formation of icy worlds and gas giants. After the gas giants, much of the remnant dust, debris and unfinished planetesimals started to settle into a disk. Later came to known as, the asteroid belt. The inner, hotter part of the nebula, planetesimals were composed of silicates and metals. The massive influence of solar gravity and frequent collisions caused them to become small planetary embryos, known as terrestrial planets. The solar system we know today was in the making. One of the terrestrial planets became our home, planet Earth. Falling in the zone with just the right temperature enabled life to evolve. For 4.5 million years, this life matured and evolved enough to ask questions about the existence of the cosmos. 
We don't yet know what initiated the Big Bang. But what we do know is that this is when it all began. And we are the part of this grand phenomenon known as the origin of the universe.